Hi, my name is Sana Charania. I'm a health scientist at CDC and lead author on the paper, Bullying Victimization and Perpetration Among U.S. Children with and Without Tourette Syndrome, published in the Journal of Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics. In our paper, we use nationally representative data to understand how many children have Tourette Syndrome and to learn about their bullying involvement. This information is important for healthcare providers, educators, and parents. Tourette syndrome is a condition of the nervous system that causes people to have tics. Tics are sudden twitches, movements, or sounds that people do repeatedly without wanting to. For example, a person might keep blinking over and over or might make a grunting sound unwillingly. Tics are fairly common, but if a child has motor and vocal tics for longer than a year, they may be diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. At CDC, we know that Tourette syndrome can really impact children's lives. We know that children with Tourette syndrome are likely to have other mental, behavioral, or developmental disorders like attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, behavioral problems, anxiety, learning disorders, and others. We know that children with Tourette syndrome can have difficulties with social relationships and being accepted by others and that bullying can be a major concern. But we need to learn more. So we used information from the 2016 and 2017 National Survey of Children's Health, an online pencil and paper survey completed by parents. On the survey, parents reported whether a healthcare provider had ever told them their child had Tourette syndrome or other disorders. We found that about one in 333 children was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, and that most children with Tourette syndrome, more than 80%, had other mental, behavioral, or developmental disorders. The most common were anxiety and ADHD. Parents also reported on bullying involvement, including whether their child was a victim of bullying, a perpetrator of bullying, or both. We found that compared to children without Tourette syndrome, children with Tourette syndrome more commonly were a victim of bullying, a perpetrator of bullying, or both a victim and perpetrator of bullying. However, once having another condition was taken into account, in addition to age and sex, the associations between Tourette syndrome and bullying were reduced. Only victimization was still statistically significantly different between groups. This study shows that bullying is a serious concern for children with Tourette syndrome, and that children need help and support to manage their Tourette syndrome and any other condition they may have. Healthcare providers can ask about bullying when treating children with Tourette syndrome. Parents, teachers, and healthcare providers can ensure that children receive the proper diagnosis and the right support. CDC partners with the Tourette Association of America to provide training for professionals and information and support for individuals with Tourette syndrome. You can find more information for parents, teachers, and healthcare providers at Tourette.org. Helpful resources can also be found at stopbullying.gov and on our website, cdc.gov forward slash Tourette. Thank you for watching this video abstract. I hope you will read the full article and that you will continue this important conversation about children with Tourette syndrome and bullying prevention.